guys so I'm gonna come on today because I'm still getting girls asking how I remove like the big crystals and the 3d flowers so I might as well do a video on it I have done a video a while ago on this but it's so hard to go back and try and find my videos there's over 600 of them so it's hard work so I thought I'd do another video so all you will need to get rid of the crystals are a bag any bag will do and a pair of these these are cuticle nippers and they are just the right size to get the crystals in between them and just to clip them off the bag is to catch them because i've learned from experience and also mum told me you start pecking them off and they go ping 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 and you never find them again because if you do get them off nicely with nothing on the back that's like come off you can reuse them again that's why i like this way of doing it so much because they're not cheap these these crystals so i do like to keep reusing them so i'll stop me chattering and i will set you about somewhere so you can see how i get these off okay so you're basically you're sitting right next to me <laughs> so you need to get the bag with a slight lip over it so you've got the bag and it goes over like that so when you put your fingers in and start clipping them off then they ping up into the bag and not all over your room because i'm filming and i can't get my hand in they have just pinged everywhere and I mean everywhere. I'm surprised I haven't got one in my face. But you sort of get the idea. If I wasn't filming, my hand would be sort of in the bag like this. And to do it, because... <laughs> that was crazy. So with that one, it sort of pinched off at the end there. So you could reuse it if you're desperate. But most of them, I've got one here. That's come off pretty good. So that one I would reuse again. So to get the 3D flowers off, I use an electric nail drill and this is the one I use. I have had this a long time now and it's sort of touch and go whether it works. Depends what mood it's in, whether it turns on or not. If you wanted to see into this one, I did a review video a long time ago and I will leave that video in the description box down below. To get all my nails off, I always use a carbide drill bit. If you are a beginner and using an electric file, please use the sand bands that come with the drills because they are 100% more safe than if you just get your hands on one of these straight away and start using it. I use a medium carbide drill bit. I don't think you need to go up anymore. I've always had a medium. I haven't tried a coarse one, but I'm pretty sure that a medium is all that you need. So all I'm going to do is just set it on a medium speed and just go along and get the flowers off. Usually the crystals just pop off, but if they don't, I will show you how I get the crystals off with a drill. So if you noticed what I was doing, I was getting the very end of the drill bit and sort of scoring my way down. This gets rid of the, the majority of the bulk of the flower. And then if the crystal doesn't come off, I do the same with that. I get the corner of the drill and I go around each corner. Well, I know it's a circle, but I just go around like that. And eventually it will come off because you're just filing away bits of the crystal. well I hope that was helpful but just remember do not ever press on with the drill bit just let the drill do its work and it will finally get off whatever you're trying to get off do not push on the drill because it will hurt you all right guys thank you so much for watching hope you have a lovely day whatever you're doing and I will see you in my next video bye